Hello everybody and welcome back to the Roblox video and today we're in Roblox work at a pizza place. They just released their autumn update for the year 2024 so let's see what they have to offer. You can basically read in the game description of what they have brought into the game or returned. The first thing I'm going to go over is going to the store right here. They actually released their first ever kind of bundle game pass and it's called the autumn bundle. So you can see right here it's 600 Robux, I have bought it. It shows right here what it exactly contains. Now I'll pull up a clip of myself buying it and also joining the game and see what pops up in your screen. So this is what it looks like when you first buy the game pass. And honestly, it's one of those bundles in Roblox games that is actually worth the price. And don't worry, it's not like Burn Mystery 2's so bundles were like, oh, if you don't buy this this year, it will never return. So. It's nice to see this autumn bundle reappear in the future years during the autumn season. Also, here's something that most people don't realize, so in certain countries, they have banned like loot boxes being obtained and uh, video games and etc. just because of their laws and jurisdictions, so just keep that in mind when you purchase this game pass. Now that I pretty much briefly showcased what contains in the game pass, let's just hop into the game and look around and yep, they got their own little fault decor going on, I really like it. It's so, so nice. Let's hop into my house, actually, because um, I have placed some Halloween and autumn furniture. If you're wondering, this game also will release a Halloween update later on this month. So there'll be like Halloween furniture and etc. to collect. Um, so here's my autumn mansion. I literally take down my entire Christmas house. But uh, yeah, if you come up in here, I'll just give you a quick tour of the place. Nothing too crazy going on, I just want to keep it simple because um, the Christmas holiday is where I'm really into um, celebrating, yeah. And here are my total collected trophies. It's not much, I guess, but better than nothing. I have no idea what I was supposed to do here, but uh, I just kept it blank. Another thing they added to the update is that you can now customize your mailbox. Simply over, go over to your little mailbox here and you can just select which type. For some reason my username is not displayed in this mailbox but I think they'll push out a bug fix later on. Something minor but if you head over to the shop, you can see that now all of the furniture is unlockable. This might be nice for some people, some people will be like, oh they've probably spent like months trying to gather all this furniture, go into the dump every single day to try to unlock but honestly I'm in favor of this update because I don't know why they would gatekeep certain uh, decorations. So let's head on over to the pizzeria. If you're wondering how to spawn your uh, fall jeep, just head over to your inventory then you want to go to this car icon, click on a jeep and just kind of spawn it wherever the car can and just hop right in. So over here you can buy the bundle from here this is a little iconic little pumpkin patch area with a scarecrow. Got some more decorations. And here's a corn maze. Again, we'll get into that later in the video. The next thing I want to show you guys is that they have brought back the autumn little present. This is basically, you know, the gears present and the movie present and the furniture present where you basically unbox it and you would get a specific type of furniture for the autumn present. 
it gives you limited time autumn furniture. I think I have all of them from last year, but I might as well just open one for fun. Yeah, I already got this one, so I might as well just sell. And there's also rarities, which um, I don't know if it, <laughs> it even shows, but I think all the items in the autumn box are just kind of the same rarity. And you can also look around the pizzeria and just see more of the decorations. It's so nice. Again, they're going to release a Halloween update around the corner, so this is going to add even more of a fall aesthetic or theme to the game. So now we're going to check out this corn maze, which when you complete it, you will get this limited time trophy, which you can see right here. Now this corn maze thing has been the game for 5 years straight, and the layout has been pretty much the same. I'm on alt account because um, in my main, I already got the trophy, and there's also 10 chests around the map in this corn maze that each of them gives 100 coins. It's not mandatory to collect all of them to get the trophy, but uh, I guess I'll just show you guys, you know, how I remember of completing the maze if I can. So follow where I go if you like. Also, if you have the delivery by game pass, this process will be a much more quicker. But again, I'm on my alt, and I don't mind going on foot, really. So it's the first chest right here. And as you can see, it just awarded with a hundred coins. Here's a second chest right here, surrounded by these scarecrows. The third chest is just right here. Over here you will find two chests. This is the only area in a maze that will have two chests in one close spot. Here's this chest. Now, I didn't manage to get all the treasure chests in this maze, but again, it's not mandatory, and if you do, you only get like 1,000 coins since each chest contains 100. But, uh, I might as well get the trophy out of the way. And so, here you go. The 2024 Autumn Trophy, which seems to be an acorn on a little podium. One more thing before we conclude the video, actually, is that, uh, they actually changed up the little audio and decal system right here. Just place one and the menu is now different. So now you got a list of various audios so you can just find the public and you can just favorite certain songs of them and there's also a favorite section of course. <laughs> I don't know why I have this saved. Uh, you can also just type in the 
audio name and also copy and paste the ID. This is the same thing for decals. Poster right here, let's just put it right here for example. And uh, yeah, it should be much more easier to um, find decals of your choice. And I really like how coincidentally there's all these Halloween and fall themed decals right here to enhance your uh, house decor. And uh, yeah, there's also various little minor things that the updates contain. This is one of those fall updates in this game from what I've heard that has released a bunch of quality of life changes to the game. I think that's it to cover for anything major in this update. Uh, let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But uh, yeah, if you want to see and check out the Halloween update for this game as well, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be grinding this game for just a bit because I feel like my coins are pretty low and I really want to level up this adorable little autumn pet that is now sitting on my head. The effect though, it's really cool. The game link in the description, uh, so check it out for yourself. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace.